just remember everything have an opposite face. They call yin and yang. There's an action and counter reaction. Always have both. How come I'm telling you this before I'm talking about Wing Chun? Because this is all the foundation you have to know before you get into learning Silum Tao form and stick your hand. Without this basic concept, you won't be able to learn good. Because this is very important. Okay? Now first thing I told you is based on yin and yang concept. Yin and yang is related to cause and effect cycle. Those are linked together. Now when, from now on, when you're learning something, you got to find out what is the partner of that subject. Like when I'm talking about motion, what is the opposite side of the motion? What's the partner? What's the yin and yang partner? It's a power. You got to figure it out. In order to do good, you have to see both sides. The motion and, and power separate. Understand it. Then you can put them to work. But if you don't even understand, there's two factors work together. Then you won't be able to separate them, and then you become mass. Everything you do is become either too much muscle, or you have no muscle. Uh, understand that? Okay, today I'm going to talk about the square body. In Wing Chun, what is square body? Now, do nothing or I get a space to be square. No. Square body to yourself. I'm a square body, the function. I'm not talking the square body or the, the mass. I'm talking the function, square body function. What is square body? You know, everybody knows what square means, right? Square is the order side equal, called square. Okay? The function is the left and right side are equally function. They call square body. Like if I face to him, okay, face him like this. My body square, I be able to use my left hand or right hand equally. That means I have a square body to myself. But if I face him like that, I am favored to one side only. This side is useless. That means they are not balanced. That means I don't have a square body. Square body means I be able to use two sides equally, balanced. Understand that? Now that's a term, square body, function. Okay? My square body is to me. I don't care you square body or to yourself or not. But my square body is based on how I balance my left and right side. But the square body have to have a target. Alright? That you can have a square body. If I'm fighting you, you are my target. Your center of gravity is my target. Okay? I'm faced equally to you. Both sides can be able to apply technique punching you equally to your center of gravity. That means I have a square body. Understand that? What's that? Square. Right? There's the center of the square. Your body here, for example, your shoulder, right? Now your two hands to the target. That become a triangle. That for square, equal side triangle, because the, your body is a base, support the equal side triangle. That for square body. But that square body have to have a target. You have to face to this line, his center gravity. There's his center gravity line, his head, his body, okay? That's center. I'm not face to, face to him, his body side. I'm face to him, his center gravity. Right? He can be standing this way. 
He can be standing this way, no matter. His center of gravity is still the center. I still focus to this center of gravity. That means I still be able, able to apply my left and right hand equally, balance. Okay? It's simple. Any question about that? So if two people are doing chi sound, they both have square body. Is one person yin and the other person yang, and does it go back and forth with yeah. the roll? No, your own hand yin and yang. When you go up, when you go down. When you go up, when you go down, you're rolling your own hand yin and yang. But your whole thing and his whole body become one unit. When I hit him, he block me. That's called yin and yang. I'm attacked, he's the one block. So he and yang, I yang. become a block. He would be yin and you would be yang if you're attacking. Always opposite. Right, so but when you're in the role and nothing's uh -huh. happening, then everybody's either yin or yang? Or yin because yeah. they're passive? No, the yin and yang within the whole big okay. picture. So it's like yin and yang within yin and yang. That's right. Okay. Now think about this. If I'm doing stick hand with you, my hand going up, bones out. You're not going to bones out. You're going down, your elbow down, and my elbow up. Uh -huh. When my elbow down and you elbow up the other side, then understand they call opposite side rolling. So that's like the symbol. Yeah. Huh? Just like the symbol. That's right. right. It's rotating. Uh -huh. Rotating. Yeah. You got? Now, let's go a little, little bit deeper. Only in my own body. I'm not, not talking I'm face to a person. I am myself. I have three structures. Hand structure, body structure, and leg structure. Three structures in one. That's why each structure have a square body in order to make it work. In other words, I have a three square body function. All right. What is a function for three square body? If I'm standing on the square floor, the floors are this, even horizontally. I'm standing like this, two legs standing equally. Now I can keep my hip equal. Horizontal. That consists the square body of my leg. But if I'm standing on the loop like this, one leg here, one leg there, my hip is like this. It's not square body anymore because that won't support my hand, my body. Okay, in order to support my body, I stand on the flat surface the easier way. I can keep, get my hip even. Now my body on top of the hip is even. That means this square body support the body square body. When the square body of the body good, I can support left and right side. That means supporting my hand now. Three body work together. You understand that point? Can you show it on the, the other one on the roof or whatever you were on? This one? Show how the, the body, upper body looks. What do you mean? The upper body. This upper body, yeah. like this, the shoulder like this. Yeah, okay. Then your hand will be lopsided. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Understand the concept? Now, how come square body is so important? We have to, when we do zoom talk, we have to pay attention on what we are doing. Okay, if you are not understand that, by the time you learn the zoom talk form, totally ruin the whole idea of learning Wing Chun because you don't even know what you're looking for. That's why now, this beginning lecture, I give you the basic foundation to understand what you're going to look for in the future. That you don't waste any time. By the time you learn it, you got 17 when you teach people in the future, make sure they understand the basic concept before they go into the learn practice. Okay. Now, how come square body is so important? Just think, if I don't have a square body, in the future, I won't be able to have a twist and lock function. You know what I mean by twist and lock function? Huh? Now, for some of the hip, if I don't square enough, I be, won't be able to get this twist and lock function. And they say, if I think, you think about this hip like this, how can I do twist and not? No way. 
space in order to have a flat surface. The hip, even. Now my body can turn. Then I have to twist and lock. By the time you have to twist and lock the hip, the body square to the hand, then why we do boom like that? The, that snap, the twist and lock function, you can apply at one. Three structure at one. Okay, that's why three structure have to have a square body function. Otherwise, you won't link together. If your body don't have the square body link together, in the future, your motion only one-sided. Your power won't be able to get the supernova force. You know what supernova force, right? Supernova force based on the center, based on the center, for example, the bar right here, second ball right here, the third ball right here. Okay, that is center right there. If you bounce on the ground together, this ball will be shoot out so fast. That goes supernova force. First thing is you don't tell how you develop this force. You got to know how to link this ball together. Each ball is a niche function. This is a leg, this is a body, and this is a hand. If you be able to link together, then you be able to get the supernova power. All right? That's the foundation. Now, when in town, you learn how to be straight this way, how you link together is the hip. Link the body like that, I tighten the hip. Now I lock the leg and the body together. By the time I push over down, then link my hand and the body together. That means I know how to link two points, the, the three structure link together. <coughs> then I'll be able to shoot out. How do you link this together, the hand and the body, how you link together? If by the time I pull my shoulder down, I hold the hip, pull it like that. Then when I pull my shoulder down, my head shoot up. My spine stretch up. My coxing, the sacrum area, I tuck in. I pull my spine down. That means two firm up. That's based on uh, the center of gravity I'm working on. That means I lock together. All three structures lock together. That's the first thing. But you just stand like that. If you lock, how do you activate the power by locking? But stretch your head, tuck it in. That's it, simple. But if you do simple, without that two function, the three structure will link together. You can stand all day long doing simple. But you don't stretch your spine, tuck in the hip, you won't get. That's why in Wing Chun, there's a Chinese saying called Ham Hong Bak Boi, Mei Lui Sao. In Cantonese. You know what I mean, right? No one Chinese here? Ham Hong Bak Boi. Another word. Any paper I can use? Ah, I can use. Take out some paper here. Ah, a piece of paper. Ah, that is a body. But boy, doesn't mean I my back pull out like this. A lot of people may sometimes have but boy like this, it curve. No. But boy is pulling up. Okay, pull. But boy, that means I'm uh, pulling the grass up. I just pull straight up the grass and pull out. But I'm not pulling out sideways. Otherwise, the grass just break. Right? But boy, that means I pull my back up. The ham hong means uh, if I, the paper straight like this. If I straight, the boom, look, look at the hand. I stretch up like this, while the two sides go in. Uh, if I go straight like that, like, I pull, let it come in. See? If I stretch my body, my shoulder come in. Fall, fall forward, naturally. That's why, but boy, I pull my back up. Hong, that means my, my chest relaxed in. 
I'm not going out this way. You know, like that, I'm not going to pull my back up. You want to pull my back up? My, my shoulder go in. Pull up, go in. Opposite. You understand the concept? So you want this to happen? You it will naturally this. happen. So your chest sort of sinks a little bit. Yeah, this chest, shoulder, you want to sink the chest, shoulder go forward. Okay. Forward, naturally forward. You want to go forward, your head and the stretch up. And then cast it at the tuck in. That means I'm pulling here down, and stretching this up. Like this, 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 this go in like this. Wow. That means the paper fall in. If the paper has stretch, I can show you better. But the paper has no stretching. <laughs> but you can see, you still can see, right? Yeah. Uh, understand the concept? Yeah. <clears throat> You said another part of the saying, could you give it the Tham Hong Bat Boy. And then the next one. May you lose out, Kasi Tak Yen. That means Kasi Tak Yen to pull the spine down. But a uh, head pull up, that's why I make a sort of cold cold. Okay? That's a Chinese saying in the beginning, you know, you get to understand what the Ham Hong Bat Boy mean. That means how, what's it pulling your back up and concave your chest. And how was it toxic? Your second area tuck in. What are their, their purpose? What is the function? You got to understand that. Yeah. So is that motion decompressing the spine? Decompress? Yes. Yeah, it, it, rather than locking, we used to say lock L4, L5. It seems like it's decompressing, like it's stretching it. You stretch it, but it did not decompress it. So the stretching is yeah, the stretching. locking? Stretching stretch is locking? You can say longer because stretching, the more you stretch, the more you have tension on the spine. That means that's opposite function. You stretch it, you come back in more. Stretch up. Always remember that's yin and yang. That's the action, that's counter reaction. Okay? If I pull you, automatically you have to fall, pull me back. <coughs> Everybody have that experience, right? Eh? You experience that. Okay, good. Now, understand the three structural concept, three square body function work together. How come square body have helped you much better in the future? Because if I'm in square body, I can use two head evil. Now, for example, I'll bump my punch you. I turn my body this way, then I I can feel myself uneven now. Then I, which way I go, I don't keep turning. I go back to this way. That means I'm a pop punch, not punch. I can, or I can turn my body into the opposite always. I can return my body in the square body function. Right? Understand? The body will twist by the hip. Like some people, I turn this way, I cannot turn that way anymore. That's why I already lose my square body, I turn back the other way. That means I can equally, both sides turn equally. That's the square body function. But if you don't have the square body function, you won't be able to turn both sides, only one way. You cannot turn anymore. Okay? Understand the concept? Yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So as, you, as we progress in our training, our body starts to become aware of the squareness, and yeah. when it's off a little bit with the punch, yeah. it naturally is going to come right back. Right, right. Because, because if I turn the left, this isn't next, right, I need to be here. Yeah, if I turn the left, next one I have to turn the right, right, and then next one I have to turn the left. That means that's called square body function. Okay, you cannot turn twice in the right. I'm going to turn twice, keep turning. No way yeah, I can do no that. Power. No. No problem. They call yin and yang concept. Yeah. Will you show, you, you did the square body hips, will you show the square body legs? The leg? Is it the same? You're just saying yeah. the same? The leg? Well, if I stand on this horizontal surface, that's why I make both knee go in, like this, the hip will be even. I have even hip. That's called square body. Okay? Just like the chair. If the chair like this, I put the leg on the chair equally. You can see on there, no problem. 
but if you're unequal, just let it fall fall. <laughs> because the chair, the leg is unequal. Okay? That's why he fall down. Did that call square body of the stand? Alright? But uh, yeah. Question. So look, when I very first started, we always thought lower was better. Like getting no. low to the ground and better center. No, yeah, no, who said that? Hmm? <laughs> Who said that? We just used to think it. We're, when we first, we very first started. It That's why you get the lesson many, many, many times. Time. Yes. Center gravity doesn't mean you just sink more than you go to the center. Center gravity, no matter how tall I am, from the head to toe, that is center line of the, my body. Center of the, my weight, because center gravity. Doesn't mean I go lower, the center gravity is stronger. No. <laughs> yeah. So inside our square legs, we were standing in our stance, uh -huh. we're creating a triangle inside yeah. the square. Uh -huh. That's very yeah. powerful. Yeah. 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 Now think about this. You think we talk about that? Now when your body here, right? Yeah. Your, your hip right here, your leg right here, my knees here. In order, now right now my hip tuck in, I will lock the body in the leg. I, in order to control my body, what happened? I'm holding here, I'm holding my leg, I can control my body. What I'm holding, what I'm holding is my knee. My knee position. I'm holding my stand, control my body. By the time I turn my knee, my body turn. That's a knee function. Alright? Understand that? Can you see that function? Your body, the leg. Okay? Now, how about the knee go in? Because knee go in, I'm holding it. I have tension holding this angle. That's why the knee, I can control the body any direction by holding this. That's why my fingers go in. That means the knee go in. Okay? If you point out, what happened? If you point out like this, you are not holding anymore. You cannot control your body. If you stand like that, I cannot control my body because so rigid. I'm going up. By going in, I can control so easy. The knee go in in a, a lot of sport and based on that. You think about this. If I stand underneath the water, on the bottom of the, of the lake, how you keep your balance? Your toe grabbing the floor, the knee go like that, keep your balance. Then the, the water won't, won't make you lose your balance. Okay? But if you stand normally, you know, stand, look like that, the water come, from, you fly. Because you have no control <laughs> of your body at all. When you're riding a horse, you, ride, you have a horse, right? When you ride your horse, what do you do? Knee go in to ride like this. Why is the knee go in? Control your body balance. <coughs> I want to control my body, I have the knee go in. I cannot ride the horse like this, otherwise I'm falling apart. Understand that? This is what the knee control your body. In order to control it, the knee go in. All right? Any other question? Yeah. Well, how many kung fu's and karate's are there in the world in which everybody's, you know, going this way? Uh -huh. So they're just making a mistake over and over and over and over and over again. Why don't they get on our bandwagon? Yeah, I don't know because I don't know the style. I cannot tell you. They don't know the science. Huh? But the way I look at it, they yeah. could be just for the the function development your leg muscle. Yeah, it's just, just like very little. I go like this up and down, right. develop muscle. They stay like that for a long time, develop leg muscle. It's not develop, you control your body. Because okay. it's very hard to move. Yeah, you cannot move. Yeah. But if you have your muscle, <laughs> see, that's why you gotta understand what they, what's the purpose doing that. Then you can tell you what's going on. Mm -hmm. I can tell you only what I know in Wing Chun. Right. But the other, I don't know. I cannot tell you at all. But you can the fire yourself. Yeah. Talk to some I don't have enough people. time to learn any more martial arts. I'll stick with this one. Okay. <laughs> You're smart. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> any questions? No questions? No. I'm going to come back to the square body. Yeah. Uh, can you, um, as you, as your end of the the knees are coming in slightly. Do you want to make any comments in terms of the feet? They're flat, toes kind of where you can... The feet, I support my body weight from the heel to the ball of the feet. 
that's the uh, flat, so uh, holding my body weight. Okay, my toes freely move. If I lose a little bit, my toe control my balance. Okay, that's why I'm not grabbing at all. I just ho hold my weight. If I, the fall come in, my toe grab. That moment, uh, again, the whole adjustment. The adjustment to maintain my balance. The toes need to be able to freely on the ground that you can grab. Okay, when you stand like that, do not try to grab all the time. It won't work. You have to be relaxed. Remember I tell you last time, the final goal in Wing Chun is develop your motion smooth and natural. That's the final goal. If you feel whatever you technique you do is unnatural, so rigid, you need a lot of work. Okay? Understand so far? Now, the, another function is square body. If I have square body, I'd be able to have the two and law function. What's the, another function of two and law? They know this supernova. In Sirunta, we just know the line. That we just know how to go up to the sky. Okay? But we are not develop the supernova fall to the direction we want to go. Okay? The direction I want to go punch that direction. I'm not going this direction. Okay? Understand what I mean? I, I want to swing the hand go out forward. But my supernova, like this. My three ball, one here, one here, but one, another one's here. How can I get a supernova to swing this out? That's called twist and lock function. If I can do twist and lock, the twist and lock, I can be able to bounce that one to that direction. Okay? Another word, take a look what I mean by twist and lock. It's how. Dirty towel, anyway. <laughs> twist and lock, this is called twist and lock. Okay, when I twist and lock, the towel have tension. That means when I have a hand twist and lock to my body, not only your hand connect the body, the body, the body have twist and lock to uh, come to the, his, the hand twist and lock. Both work together, then you have twist and lock. The body is same thing, body and leg. The body twist and lock. The leg has the twist and lock. Now you have twist and lock function. That means all the structure have the opposite force, twist and lock. <coughs> now, how do I make the, the, uh, the force go that direction now? The hand in that direction now. Okay, the, the body in strict vertical position. <coughs> if I turn this hand this way, what do I do with the hand? That could twist and lock. See that? That still twist and lock function. When I punch out, look at what my hand go. My hand go out, drilling outward. My elbow, look at my elbow going up. And other way, I'm going out this way. What I do is my body, my body turn this way. That means twist and lock right there. Okay? There's a twist and lock, I still have the I still be able to transfer my power to any direction I want. You understand that? That's why if I have a square body, I'd be able to do the two and lock function easy. But if I don't have the square body, I won't be able to do it so easy. You understand two and lock? Think about it, twist and lock, in other words. Now, I have three structures together. They, there's a leg, there's a body, there's a hand, okay? There's a hand, either here, I'm, I'm talking about here, okay? Now, the body twist and lock. I'm holding these two in one piece, this one in one piece, this I twist and lock, both, okay? That means I'm two functions, right? The twist and lock. When the body and the leg go the same direction, only twist and lock one direction, then the hand will be opposite. Okay? But if I my hand and body in one direction, then I the leg will be opposite. 
Think about it. If my hand, if my hand, blocking turn, the turn the motion, I go turn like this. Okay, oh, I go go turn this way. Then I elbow in the same direction now. No function. Then I have to use my my hip to twist and lock. But if I go this direction, I can use the elbow to twist and lock. The leg and the body the same direction. Understand that? Clear your mind, think what I'm talking about, and see three structure how you do twist and lock. Either here or either this one hand, either here. Okay? Either this one don't move, the body and leg don't move, the hand move towards the lock. Either your hand and body don't move. The leg move. Yeah. Question? No? Okay, I think that's very difficult to understand. Because I look at you guys, I look at me, look like what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have any question? Yeah. Well, it's sort of like I'm using the, the towel. Yeah. When, when you're not in your square your form. If you have the towel closer, you don't have yeah. it. Yeah. But when you have it stretched right. out, that's yeah. when you get the, the, the same thing. They got two and function. All right. Well, don't worry. When I get into deeper on the, in the form, I will tell you how they supposed to develop. Right now, you know what's going on. Okay. In the form, teach you how to do it and why you do it. The three things you have to learn in mention. First, you got to know what you're doing. That's what you're learning now, what you're understanding. And how you do it right. And then why you have to do this way to make it right. Simple. Okay? Any questions? Today, the subject is called square body. Now you understand, understand the square body have three phases. Leg, body and the hand okay if you square body you'll be able to have two and rock function easy and you'll be able to keep your balance easy okay so simple okay last question where want to ask with uh, going out time now. yeah Tony when we work on a tool and towel how much movement are you constantly trying to be in the same position or are you always adjusting a little to adjust always your adjusting your yeah but when you adjust, no one see what you do. But you can feel yourself. Sometimes, you, sometimes when you stand too long, your spine collapse. You got to adjust too. You got to stretch your spine, or tighten your hip. All those adjustments. But uh, outsider don't know, don't see what you do. But you can feel it. Just like in the ceiling tongue in the future, when I, when I roll and lock this motion, you can you can feel that motion. When each time you go. Do a rolling lock motion function, but uh, <coughs> outside they don't feel, don't see what you're doing, but you can feel. Okay. Okay. Any other question? No. Yeah. So every time we're adjusting, we're telling our brain, and our brain is sending feedback yeah. back and forth, back and forth. You're yeah. not right. You're not right. And yeah. then over time, you That's get good. more right, more right, more right, more right. Yeah. Now remember yin and yang. Yeah. No matter how perfect you do, it's still not right. <laughs> no matter how, how lousy you do, it's still not lousy. You just need to be more right than the person you want to beat up, though, yeah. right? But as long as you know, right now you know the concept, they're supposed to be right. Okay, focus on the right and wrong. You, if you can see it left and right side, then I send the center of the yin and yang, then right and wrong. Then I can tell the difference between right and wrong. I can do anything I want yet, as long as I can separate them. But if I cannot even understand what's right or wrong, anything you do must be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you understand that? That's why the basic thing you got to know what you're doing. That's why I try to tell you guys, understand this concept. Then you can learn much better. Okay? Any other questions, mm -hmm. Ronnie? Well, I was wondering with the twist and lock whether you meant that with the three centers, any two can, yeah. can develop the twist yeah. and lock. Any two can be one. 
the body of the hand can be one, then the leg can twist. Okay, if the leg and the body is one, the hand and the whole thing can twist. Can you kind of demonstrate that? Huh? Can you kind of show that? No, you know, I turn like this, right? What I do? My leg turn, body turn the same direction. My body, my hand go this direction, then twist that way. Okay, I twist in this direction. My, that is the hand and the body opposite direction twist. Okay, if my punch, if my punch is chop this way, the body and hand one piece. Look at my hand, the leg. I twist it a lot right there. You understand, you guys? Understand the concept. You learn in the future, you understand what's the form about, how you develop this. See, in the serum tau, you develop the three structures, how they work, how they link together. In Chang Hill, you learn how to twist and lock with the three structures. And that twist and lock can redirect the power to the direction you want. In the third form, you will be adding another force, make the supernova force much better. Okay, that uh, for example, I give it. You see those argument, if people stand on the shoulder, the guy jump, uh, he can flip, right? The two structure right now, okay? But in order to, uh, I make the guy jump higher. In that moment, he jump, I push. That moment, he can go higher. That's a function that's built to you do. A trampoline, only one function. I jump and then I jump by myself. But the trampoline just follow my force. But think about, by the time I jump and bounce off, the trampoline has the extra force, push like that, I jump much faster. That's what you develop with a beauty form. But that will come later. But understand the concept first. First, in Serum Tau, we develop the connection of three structure. Some gill, with the three structure, we develop the twist and lock function. The BLG, we develop twist and lock function and three structure linked together plus extra force push. Okay? Okay, too much for that. <laughs>